नंदिन मतालिका राधा कृष्णा पदार विंद बजना नंदिन मतालिका बंदे रूपा सनातन और हकुचको शिवा गोपाल को बंदे रूपा सनातन और हकुचको शिवा गोपाल को बांधे रूपा सनातन और कुछ को श्री जीव गोपाल को बांधे रूपा सनातन और कुछ को श्री जीव गोपाल को I offer my respectful obeisances unto the six Goswamis, namely Sri Larupa Goswami, Sri Lathanathan Goswami, Sri Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, and Sri Jiva Goswami, Gopal Bhatta. We are all very expert in scrutinizingly studying all the revealed scriptures with the aim of establishing eternal religious principles. Thus they are honoured all over the three worlds and they are worth taking shelter of because they are absorbed in the mood of the gopis and are engaged in the transcendental loving service of Radha and Krishna. So we are studying nectar of instruction and we are on the second verse. Second verse, we will read the sent. We can read the verse again. Atyahara prayashas cha rajopo niyamakraha jana sangas taloyam cha shabir bhakti vinashiti. Translation. One's devotional service is spoiled when he becomes too entangled in the following six activities. One, eating more than necessary or collecting more funds than required. Over and two, over endeavouring for mundane things, very difficult to obtain. Three, talking unnecessarily about mundane subject matters. Four, practicing scriptural rules and regulations only for the sake of following them and not for the sake of spiritual advancement or rejecting the rules and regulations of the scriptures and working independently or whimsically. Five, associating with worldly minded persons who are not interested in Krishna consciousness and six, being greedy for mundane achievements. द्वितीय श्लोक अनुवाद प्रयोजन अतिरिक्त आहार ग्रहण व प्रयोजनाधिक अर्थ संचय पार्थिव सम्पद लाभ अत्यधिक प्रचेषा करा कृष्ण विहीन अनावश्यक ग्राम्य कथन पारमार्थिक जीवन उन्नति लाभ प्रयास ना कर शुदुम शास्त्रे नियम नीतिगुल अनुसरण करार्जन तर अनुशीलन कर प्रचेषा बा शास्त्रे निर्देश अमान्य पूर्वक व्यक्तिगत ख्याल बा इच्छा अनुसार कार्य सम्पादन कर प्रचेषा कृष्ण भावना विमुख जल विषय लोकर संग्रह पार्थिव विषय लाभ करार वासन वेकुल हवा 
को व्यक्ति जो उपरोक्त छोषे द्वारा आबद्ध हो पड़े तक तर पारमार्थिक जीवन विनाशप्राप्त है ओके सो श्रीला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती राइट्स इन हिज कॉमेंट्री इज इट दैट to t- to cultivate more knowledge is also another kind of ajahara sila bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur tar bhashe ullekh korchen je otirikto gyaner onushilon setao atyahar right atyahara ati ahara ati means excessive and more than necessary anahara is the uh, acquiring taking hold possessing things uttahar kotar artho hocche proyojoner adhik sangraha kara ba ja dorkar tar theke adhik porimane ahar kara so it mentions about having more wealth than necessary if one has more 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 collects more money than one requires this is another kind of atyahara which is an obstacle for devotional service onek beshi ortho uparjan korar chesta tar ja proyojon tar theke onek taka sanchoy kore rakhar je prochesta eta ko pratyahar bola hocche so sometimes people have you know uh wealth so much wealth more wealth than they, they want they can use it they're thinking oh yeah i have enough for my children but i have to have wealth for my grandchildren in the future my grandchildren in money also like that so they 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 accumulate and they have properties also like this they buy property not just for themselves but they got property for their children and the future grandchildren grandchildren will be there they also need property and this way they accumulate so many excessive things कारो है तो अनेक अर्थ सम्पत्ति रही है से ही जीवन खर्च करते चिंता करे कि भोग कर तरह ऐले अर्थात नाती ता एगल भोग कर से अनेक अतरिक्त परिमाण एर अर्थ व सम्पत्ति संचय कर रखे सो अगेन इट कम्स बैक टू दट वेरी मच इनफ्लुएंस बै द मोड ऑफ फैशन एंड इगनोरेंस and we need to come to the mode of goodness so ar bishoy amra bujhte pari je ei probonota ta muloto rajagun ebong tamogun theke ase kintu amaderke tamogun ebong rajagun theke sattoguner stare nijederke niye aste hobe so this atyahara has something which we really have to avoid tai atyahar je bishoy seta amaderke obosshoi eriye chola uchit an it comes is uh, I, i explained yesterday also how even in our practice of sometimes krishna consciousness we're guilty of ajahara kal ke amra alochona korchilam je emon ki amra ei krishna bhavana amrutar onushilaner samayo amader ei dhoroner kharap probonota hoy ottaharer bishoy people have many many books they never even open them never read them never look. they just keep them for display in their house emon ki lokera onek onek boi sangraha kore rakhe just barite lokader ke dekhanor jonno and then deities people like deities they have many deities never worship them emon onek bigroho barir modhe rakhbe kintu kokhoni tader puja archona kore na and then also uh, japas bid right the clack big nice big beads so many different beads they have japa malas and hardly they chant emon ki dekha jay onek gulo bhalo bhalo rang beranger japa mala she rekheche japa bag songroho kore kintu kokhonoi hote job kore na so this is ajahara eta pratyahar we should just what we're going to use that is not that's enough but if we're not using things there's no point to just simply accumulate to sei jonno je ta amra kaaje lagao byabohar korbo sei proyojoniyo jinish ta thaka thik ache kintu je ta amra kokhono kono proyojone kaaje lagabo na seta to otirikto rakhar kono mane hoy na so often people take up some religious process the idea is they want to improve their material life they're not thinking about spiritual development 
they just want to improve themselves. So, the second thing is that the people who are in the world are in the world. So, the people who are in the world are in the world. So I said, from Dharma comes Artha, economic development. And then the thinking, the goal is, of Artha is Kama, sense gratification. So when I said that, I said that the Dharma is the Artha. And the Artha is the Artha. And there's no thought, and the people never think about liberation. So as devotees, we have to be very careful about Adyahara. Eating too much is also a major Adyahara. We have to learn to control the tongue. So, Rupa Goswami has given that nice instruction. Nirbandha Krishna Sambandhe Yukta Vairagi Ujjate. Everything in we should accept only those things in relation to Krishna. That is real renunciation. सुनो रूपों के सेवापाद सुंदर उपदेश प्रदान करें जन निर्बंध कृष्ण संबंधे भक्ति रुच्चते और तो जा किचु कृष्ण भक्ति अनुकूल सेगुलो अम्रा उपजोग करते पाए। A brahmana should be satisfied is with whatever we get by the arrangement of providence। तो ब्राह्मण देर ये जा तार जोजमान बा ये समस्त जरा जा जो दिच्छा क्रम में पावा गये चे but if a brahmana is dissatisfied, if always complaining, oh, I don't have enough, I'm not getting enough, I'm not getting proper facilities like this, the, the more we're dissatisfied, then the less we will have spiritual potency. So, Brahman Jiti Sab Samay Obhi Jag Kare, Oh, Amar Eta Sujog Subhita Darkar, Ami Eta Bacchi Na, Ota Bacchi Na, Ehi Prakar Asantos Brahmaner Madde Thakle, Ini Paramarthik just like when you, if you pour water on a fire, then you put out the the potent, the, the heat and light of the fire. So very important, we should be satisfied with what comes by the arrangement of providence. The, then we have to be careful about how we relate to the devotees. We don't want to offend devotees. So, Rupa got, uh, described in the commentary that there are four different kinds of blasphemy to a devotee. So, Sri Rupa Goswami at a bhaktir prati vivinna aparad gulur visaya kulle kurishen chat prata. If we criticize a devotee for being of a low birth or a low caste, then this is offense. So, Jokhan kono bhaktar nichu kule janma janito Right, sometimes some, we may think, oh, this person is very low class, he's from very, very uncultured family, this, this is an offense. <laughs> And then if a second, the second kind of offense is if we criticize someone on the basis of some sinful activity which they per performed before they became devotees. I remember there was one devotee, this was in Germany, he joined the movement in Germany and Prabhupada asked him, what were you doing before you became devotee? And devotee said, 
I was a butcher proper. तो एकबार जार्मनी ते एक भक्त ऐसे चेन जे यारे भक्ति मुलक से वह जाए उनको अर पूर्वे तुम की आज कुम्भ कर चले तो फल से तार ऐसे आपको मैं पता बोल। But Prabhupada said, now you have come to Krishna consciousness, you have left everything, very good. Prabhupada never never condemned him, he never ridiculed him. So, Srila Prabhupada Taman Pallen, yo, tumi akhan Krishna Bhava Namr Tese Cho, khubhe bhalo, aar tini kakhunai, tari purvakpita kharap parmer jinnye, aar kakhunai 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 kakhunai. And Prabhupada gave him a very, very nice name. Aar Srila Prabhupada Taman Khub Sundar Akhti Naam Pradhan Kari Chilein. So, so we don't criticize someone on the on the basis of what they've been doing before they surrendered to Krishna. So, today, our mother, who can only, a, just sorrow, not to hear, purve Krishna, or not to answer, purve, who no, bhakti, just who no, which pap karma karitha, ke same vishe, who no, samala chana. Then the third kind of a, offense to a devotee is if we criticize them when they they did some un. But you know, unintentionally, unpremeditated, by accident, they fell down. Our three number operat rache je je kono kono bhakto onichha krito ba accident posato se kono kharap karmo kore thake tar jonne tar somalo chena kore. Somebody may, for example, somebody may have eaten something and they didn't know. Oh, there was something. But maybe there was meat in it, or there was onion in it, or something. Ate something you were not supposed to eat. They didn't know. They, 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 it was intentional. We shouldn't criticize them. तो से जब कोनो भक्त है तो उन्हें छक्कर तो कोनो एक टा भूल करे बसे चे बसे जानतो ना से जो ना सिक्कम तो से ये प्रकार विषय गुलो नहीं है सुधु मात्रो भक्त है समालचना कोनो कोनो भावे ठीक ना है. And the first thing. And the fourth thing, the, f the, the fourth offense, is if we find fault with the, if we see, you know, the person may have some kind of bad habit from before they became a devotee, and there's still some trace, a little bit trace of his past sin, it's still there. Uh, uh, there's an example how there was this one man, he had been a thief before he became a devotee. And then he became a devotee and he went to the holy place and at night everyone was sleeping. But during the night, this man woke up, and he used to be a thief, so he, he started going around and taking things from people while they were sleeping. But then, he, start, he thought, this is not good, I've come to a holy place, and I'm a devotee, and I'm taking from these devotees. So he decided he should put it back. But he couldn't remember what he'd taken from where. So he put the things back, he didn't put them back in the right place. So in the morning when people woke up, they said, hey, what happened to my thing? And then he said, hey, what's this doing in my stuff? This is not mine. And they saw things were all mixed up. So at that time the man came forward and said, oh, I'm very sorry, I'm a thief. I used to be a thief and I did like this and I, I'm very sorry, please forgive me. So in the morning, when the people were going to go to the house, they said, oh, I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. They said, oh, I'm not going to go to the house. They said, oh, I'm not going to go to the house. They said, oh, I'm not going to go to the house. They said, oh, I'm not going to go to the house. They said, oh, I'm not going to go to the house. They said, oh, I'm not going to go to the house. You know, fault said, but he's he's getting rid of it. He understands. He, he's realizing he shouldn't be stealing, and he's working on getting rid of that tendency to steal. So, 
কিন্তু সেই সাধু সঙ্গতে প্রমাণ এসে সে বুঝতে পেরেছে যে এই খারাপ কাজ করাটা তার উচিত হয় না যার ফলে সেই খারাপ প্রবণতা থেকে সংশোধিত হতে পারছে So we have to be very careful not to criticize people for these things. So I am a good Sabdan Takauchi, Jakaro Somalachana Kora, Tik Havana. Always better to see the good in others and see our own faults. So Sapsama Haloche, Jakunir Gun, Somo Dorsan Kora, and Niger Jesmos to Dosache, Seguloka Kujab. Sometimes when we are speaking, talking, Prajapa. We talk about people and we often commit offenses against other people. Okay, so the, then the next thing we want to talk about, a very important point, what, the, what is called Niyamagraha or practicing the rules and regulations. Right, niyam means the rules and regulations. And then agraha or agraha. One is with the long A, one is with the short A. One means very enthusiastically for following rules and regulations with great enthusiasm, too much enthusiasm. And agraha means neglecting the rules and regulations and acting independently and whimsically. So, a niyam agra mana achche je vidhi ni sadhula palan kote keu oti utsahi. The sudhu matro kub onusilan korbe niyam. Aar agra ho mana achche eta ke obo hela kora. Or tad ei je samastha vidhi ni sadhula achche sadhula palan e obo hela kora. Some people sometimes very attached to rules and regulations. কখনো কখনো কোনো মানুষ তারা এই বিধি নিষেধের প্রতি অত্যন্ত আসক্ত এইভাবে করতে হবে এই বিধি নিষেধ ঠিক মতো করছে না ও ঠিক মতো করছে না এরকম সবসময় অভিযোগ করে থাকে different rules and regulations we should understand there's principles and there are details principle for example is that devotees are vegetarian and they eat food offered to krishna and the detail will be you know, what kind of food they will eat and what kind of food they'll offer to krishna so ekta hocche niti ar ekta hocche tar bishad biboron je rokom niti hocche je bhaktara samasto sattik niramish ahar korben কিন্তু সেটার বিশদ হচ্ছে যে কোন ধরনের নিরামিষ আহার যে ভগবানকে নিবেদন করা যাবে আর কোনটা নিবেদন করা যাবে না সেই অনুসারে যে আহার করাবে এটা হচ্ছে তার বিশদ হিয়ার ইন ইন্ডিয়া উই হ্যাভ রাইস ডাউন পাথিস বাট সাম প্লেস ইজ লাইক ইন ইতালি দে হ্যাভ মোর পাস্তা তো এই ভারতে বেশিরভাগ জায়গায় চাপাটি এই সমস্ত গ্রহণ করা হয় ইটালি বিভিন্ন স্থানে হয়তো বিভিন্ন ধরনের খাদ্য দ্রব্য রয়েছে কিন্তু সেটা অবশ্যই নিরামিষ ছাত্রী দ্রব্য হবে সেই বিষয় বিষয়টাও জানতে হবে সো সামটাইমস পিপল আর টু মাচ অ্যাটাচড টু দ্য রুলস কোন কোন লোকেরা এই বিধি নিষেধের প্রতি অত্যধিক আসক্ত হয়ে পড়ে উই সি এ নাইস एग्जांपल ইন দ্য past times of lord chaitanya আমরা সুচৈতন্য মহাপ্রভুর লীলা একটা খুব দৃষ্টান্ত খুব সুন্দর দৃষ্টান্ত পাই রাইট লর্ড চৈতন্য would take he was accustomed to take rest after taking prasadam so jitnam kumar niyam chilo je tini prasad grohon korar pore bisram kore so it happened one day after taking his prasadam he laid down but he laid down in the doorway so ek din prasad grohon korar pore tini suye polechen kintu seta dorojar nikot suye polechen and Govinda who is Lord Chaitanya's servant 
he would always come after Lord Chaitanya took prasadam, Govinda would come and he would massage the feet of, Go of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So on this particular occasion, because Lord Chaitanya was in the doorway, Govinda couldn't get in to massage his feet. So again and again Govinda would request Lord Chaitanya, please can you just move, move a little bit, can you just roll over on your side, just let me in. So, Lord Chaitanya said, No, I'm sorry, I can't move. I'm just so exhausted, I can't move. So Govinda appealed, but I have to massage your feet. I, I, you have to do, I want to do my service. I just have to massage your feet. So Lord Chaitanya said, well, you do it or you don't do it, it depends on your heart. Depends on your mind. So, so Govinda took his chadar and he put it across the body of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and then he stepped over Lord Chaitanya's body. And then he began to give Lord Chaitanya's massage. And while Govinda was massaging Lord Chaitanya's feet, Lord Chaitanya took a rest. And after about half an hour or more, Lord Chaitanya woke up. And he saw Govinda is still sitting there. Govinda, you, why are you still here? Because usually after you, take mas after you give the massage, Govinda has to go and take his prasada. So Lord Chaitanya said, why didn't you go and take your prasada? But Govinda said, well, he said, uh, I didn't want to step over your body. But Lord Chaitanya said, well, you stepped over my body to come in. Why didn't you step over my body again to go out? So Govinda told Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that, he said, when I came in, I was coming to do service for you. So I, so I think it's all right that I can transgress that rule because I'm coming to do service. But for me to step over your body to go out, there's no service. I'm just going to take prasada once I... So that's, I, I don't have the right to step over your body when I'm going to just to take my prasada. If I stepped over your body like that, that would be an offense on my part. So Lord Chaitanya was very pleased to hear these very special words of Govinda. Because is, Govinda is showing us that for a, high, for a higher purpose you can break the rule. For, for a lesser purpose you can break that rule for a higher purpose.
তো সেই জন্য বলছেন যে উন্নত উদ্দেশ্যের জন্য যদি নিম্ন কোন রুলস নিয়ম ভঙ্গ করতে হয় সেটা কোনো দোষের না the lesser rule was stepping over the body ei je nimno vidhi ta hocche je oi deho ta ke otikrom kore mahapu deho otikrom kore chale geche but the higher rule the higher purpose was to give service to massage the feet of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu ar unnato uddeshya ta hocche je o she chaitanya mahaprabhu seva message eta korbe sei jonno but if he goes away then the, there's no excuse for stepping over his body again কিন্তু যখন পুনরায় বেরিয়ে আসবে তখন সেখানে কোনো অজুহাত চলে না যে মহাপ্রভুর দেহকে অতিক্রম করে আসবে There's another interesting example uh, when Lord Chaitanya every day would go to see Lord Jagannath in the temple and Lord Chaitanya would always look at Lord Jagannath he would stand beside the Garuda stamba and he would look up towards lord jagannath are ekta sundor drishtanto hocche jokhon chaitanya mahaprabhu niyomito bhabe jagannath e darshane jeten tokhon tini garur stambhar nikot dariye jagannath ke darshan korten so sometimes there be big crowds of people there and it happened one day when there was a big crowd of people in front of the deities an elderly lady came and she climbed up onto the shoulder of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu to see lord jagana ek din ottonto bhider samaye prochur bhakta samagam sekane ei ekjon vriddha tini ki korechen na oi chaitanya mahaprabhu kandher upre dariye jagannath ke darshan korche now when govinda saw this old lady on the shoulders of lord chaitanya he said oh, come down don't stand on lord chaitanya's shoulder like that তখন গোবিন্দ দেখেছে আর গোবিন্দ মহাপ্রভুর কাঁধের উপরে চড়ে একই লর্ড চৈতন্যাসিং সাধারণভাবে একজন মহিলা সে একজন সন্ন্যাসীর কাঁধে উঠে দাঁড়িয়েছে এটা একেবারে অনুচিত বাট লর্ড চৈতন্যা I wish I had the same eagerness to see Lord Jagannath. The old lady is so eager to see the deity. This is very good. So, Tavan Govinda ke Chaitanya Mahaprabhu bolche, "Jare amar hobe Jagannath darshan er oi prakar agroho hobe. Ei vriddha Mataji tar koto agroho Jagannath ke darshan korar jonno." So, important how to how to apply these different rules are important. এটা খুব গুরুত্বপূর্ণ বিষয় যে এই যে নিয়ম বা বিধি এটা কিভাবে কোন পরিস্থিতিতে কিভাবে প্রয়োগ করা হবে পালন করা হবে देयर আর প্রিন্সিপালস হুইচ ইউজুয়ালি ডোন্ট চেঞ্জ বাট দ্য ডিটেইলস ক্যান বি অ্যাডজাস্টেড যেটা নীতি বা আদর্শ সেটা কখনো পরিবর্তন করা যাবে না কিন্তু যখন বিশদ কার্যক্ষেত্রে সেটার কিছু বর্ণনা এবং পরিবর্তন হতে পারে সো ফর দ্য সার্ভিস অফ লর্ড কৃষ্ণ উই মে সামটাইমস ব্রেক দ্য রুল কৃষ্ণের সেবার জন্য অনেক সময় আমরা কোনো নিয়ম বিধি ভঙ্গ করতে পারি বাট ফর ফর আর ওন সেন্স গ্র্যাটিফিকেশন উই ক্যান চেঞ্জ এনি কিন্তু আমাদের নিজেদের ইন্দ্র তৃপ্তির জন্য কোনো প্রকার নিয়ম বিধি ভঙ্গ করা যাবে না সো শ্রীল প্রাপাত হি হ্যাড টু অ্যাডজাস্ট থিংস ভেরি কেয়ারফুলি হোয়েন হি ওয়েন্ট টু দ্য ওয়েস্ট अकॉर्डिंग টু দ্য টাইম এন্ড দ্য সারকামস্ট্যান্সেস দ্য সিচুয়েশন পাশ্চাত্যে <laughs> সেখানের অন্যরকম পরিবেশে ছিল প্রভুপাদ সেই বিষয়টার একটা সামঞ্জস্য করেছিল ওয়ান টাইম देयर वाज वन डिवोटी प्रभुपाद वांटेड हिम टू गो टू द कम्युनिस्ट कंट्रीज ईस्टर्न यूरोप टू एट दैट टाइम इट वाज कम्युनिस्ट एंड द डिवोटी सेड प्रभुपाद ही सेड देयर इज नो वेजिटेबल्स हियर आई हैव टू ईट मीट একবার একটা 
যে এরকম কঠিন পরিস্থিতিতে প্রয়োজনে যাও সেখানে মাংস আর কিন্তু বেশি গুরুত্বপূর্ণ হচ্ছে যে প্রচার করা সো প্রাপ্ত বাই শোয়িং দ্যাট হাউ সামথিং ইউ হ্যাভ টু নট অফ কোর্স প্রাপ্ত ডিডন্ট ওয়ান্ট দ্যাট উই শুড অল ইট মিট অফ কোর্স অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইজ নট নেসেসারি টু ইট মিট বাট দ্যাট দ্যাট ডিভোরি ওয়াজ ট্রাইং টু মেক অ্যান এক্সকিউজ হি ডিডন্ট ওয়ান্ট টু গো আসলে ভক্তরা এটা একটা অজুহাত করছিল প্রভুপাত কখনোই চাননি যে কোনো ভক্ত গিয়ে সেখানে মাংস আহার করুক বা এরকম বাট প্রভুপাত ওয়ান্টেড এম টু গো এন্ড হি প্রভুপাত ওয়াজ ইন মেকিং ইট ক্লিয়ার টু হিম যে প্রভুপাত যে তারা অবশ্যই সেখানে যাবে সো ওয়ান অফ দ্য ডিফিকাল্টিজ হুইচ ওয়ান অফ দ্য বিগ ডিফারেন্সেস হুইচ উই হ্যাভ ইন দ্য ওয়েস্টার্ন কালচার বিটুইন ইন্ডিয়া এন্ড দ্য ওয়েস্ট ইজ দ্যাট দ্যাট হাউ ইয়াং ম্যান এন্ড উইমেন অ্যাসোসিয়েট উইথ ইচ আদার that in the west young men and women are always together so amader bharatiyo sanskriti ar paschatter sanskriti modhe ekta bishoy bishoy hocche je paschatte chhele me tara obad mela mesha kore sei bishoye sekhane kono badhya badhokota nei so a brahmachari one who is practicing brahmachari is not supposed to even see a young woman ar je brahmachari brahmacharya onushilan korche তার সাধারণত এমনকি মহিলার সান্নিধ্যে যাওয়াই বা দর্শন করাই ঠিক না ব্রাহ্মচারী লাইক উই হ্যাভ আর ট্রেডিশনাল ব্যক্তি বিদ্যা পূর্ণ স্বামী ট্রেডিশনাল গুরু কো ওভার দেয়ার দ্য ম্যান আর উই ইন দেয়ার দ্যার ইজ নো উইমেন দেয়ার দে নেভার সি উইমেন যেরকম ভাবে আমাদের প্রথাগত যে ভক্তি বিদ্যা পূর্ণ মহারাজের যে গুরুকুল সেখানে যে ছেলেরা ব্রাহ্মচারী যেটা থাকে সেখানে কোনো so then the brahmacharis can be together just a man you never see it. there's no agitation ar jodi brahmachari ra ekshathe thake tara parosporer khitro thaklo tader ar ekdom udbeg bhabe na kono mailoke darshan korar jonno bikrito monobhab thakbe na but very difficult to do like that in the western countries kintu paschatya deshe eta mene chola khubei kothin because in western countries the men and the women mix very freely ar paschatya deshe chhele ebong me poroshpor obadhe mela mesha korte pare so prabhupad would say if prabhupad could he, he said something like say, so my dear boys you cannot even see a young girl i don't want you to see the young woman so sir prabhupad bolchen je amar priyo মেয়েদের <laughs> according to the country and according to the circumstances you have to adjust everything so desh ebong samoy patro onusare bishoy ta ke samanjasya kora dorkar then gradually the men and the women can be trained to understand they shouldn't mix so freely to tar por dhire dhire sei chhele ebong me tara bujhte shiklo ebong tader ke sei bhabe prashikkito korte tola holo we have to keep the principles but we have to make arrangements according to the circumstances so amader niti ta ke thik rakhte hobe kintu paristhiti onusare sei bishoy ta ke thik kore gore tulla dorkar so everything depends on desh desha kala patra desha the, the place the kala the time and the patra the place তাই সবকিছু বিশেষ ভাবে উপযোগ করতে হবে দেশ কাল পাত্র অনুসারে সো প্রভুপাদ ওয়াজ ভেরি কেয়ারফুল ইন অ্যাডজাস্টিং দিস থিং বাট স্টিল পিপল উইথ সামথিংস ক্রিটিসাইজ তো ছিল প্রভুপাদ এই বিষয়গুলো সুন্দর ভাবে সামঞ্জস্য বিধান করেছিলেন কিন্তু তারপরেও লোকেরা অনেক সময় সমালোচনা করে থাকে বিকজ দ্য ইম্পর্টেন্ট থিং ইজ টু ডু দ্য প্রিচিং ওয়ার্ক টু ব্রিং পিপল to get them engaged in krishna consciousness gurutvapurna bishoy ta hocche ei krishna bhavana murto prachar kora ebong somosto manush der ke ei krishna sebay niye asa so prabhupad had to do some things which were quite revolutionary ar prabhupad bishesh kichu korechilen ja chilo kina ek andolan first of all 
you know, sannyasi in the Vedic culture, a sannyasi will never cross the ocean. So, but Prabhupada didn't do the care. Prabhupada went across the ocean. He, and then Prabhupada allowed women to also to come and live in the temple, of course. He didn't allow them to live together with the men, but there was he made a brahmacharini ashram as well as the brahmachari. Because Prabhupada saw women also wanted to be devotees, so he could not turn them away. And the Brahmacharini ashram was training the women that they could go on and make a good wife and get married. So Prabhupada also had to arrange the marriages. He had to do it in the beginning because nobody else knew how, knew how to do a yagya. Prabhupada himself would do the wedding. Well, usually sannyasis have nothing to do with marriages. They may give blessings, that, but they don't usually sit in the marriage. They don't <laughs> perform. But Prabhupada did these things to help because he knew that these people are young and he knew that they would do better service if they were married. So that was Prabhupada's concern. He wants to see people sit properly situated in Krishna consciousness. Another thing Prabhupada did was uh, he, when, when devotees started to go for book distribution, Prabhupada approved that they can sometimes, if they need to, they can wear also civilian clothes and go and distribute books. And this is described in Chaitanya Charitamrita in relation to Maharaj Prataparudra meeting with Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Right. Maharaj Par Prataparudra, he wanted to have the darshan of Lord Chaitanya, but Lord Chaitanya said, I am a sannyasi, I can never meet a king. Right. Sannyasis don't like to mix with materialistic people like kings. So they disguised Maharaj Prataparudra, they got him to put on a simple dress, to take off his king robes and put on the simple dress of a Vaishnava. And then he came in and he was able to give Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu massage. And while he was giving Lord Chaitanya massage, he began to recite Gopi Git, the verses from Srimad Bhagavatam. And when he was re reciting Gopi Git, Lord Chaitanya became ecstatic and Lord Chaitanya embraced him. And so in this way, the king also got mercy of Lord Chaitanya. So devotees told Prabhupada that it's very difficult for us to approach people when we go in our devotee clothes because people feel uncomfortable 
just to even be with us or to talk to us when they see us in our robes with shaved heads. But if we wear nice civilian clothes, they'll be happy to talk to us. So then Prabhupada agreed that to allow the devotees to preach and distribute more books that they can wear the plain civilian dress. And then another thing which came up which some people didn't like was that we would do Prabhupada's Guru Puja in front of the deities. Every morning, Prabhupada would come for the deity greeting and after the deity greeting, Prabhupada would sit on the Vyasa San, we'd have Guru Puja and then Prabhupada would give class. So Prabhupada allowed the devotees to do these things because Prabhupada saw the devotees have nice mood, they are very enthusiastic, he wanted to encourage their enthusiasm. And then another problem came when Prabhu, Prabhu, Prabhupada was describing to devotees that, you see in the beginning they were calling Prabhupada as Swamiji and so Prabhupada told the devotees this name Swamiji this is third class this is not a very nice way to address the spiritual master. So then Prabhupada's secretary there was a young woman there householder woman her name was Govinda Devi Dasi and so she, when she heard this, she said, but Prabhupada, if it's third class, why are we calling you Swamiji? And Prabhupada was saying, no, it's okay, don't worry about it. But she said, no, it's important, you should, why is it like this? You shouldn't, we don't want to call you third class name. So then, then she, she persisted and she asked Prabhupada, what would be a nice name? And at that time then Prabhupada told, said Prabhupada is a nice name. So some of the God brothers, they didn't like this, that this is the name of your spiritual master, you can't take the same name as your spiritual master. But Prabhupada told them, he said, well I don't call myself that, only my disciples call me that. And then Prabhupada brought out his letterhead and his letterhead simply said A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami. There was no Prabhupada. And so in this way Prabhupada was pacifying these people. So, so these were some adjustments which Prabhupada made, but we should look at the principles which Prabhupada maintained. First of all, his spiritual master had told him, if you ever get money, use it to print books. Don't use it for sense gratification. So Prabhupada didn't worry very much about building big temples. He worried much more about printing the books. 
শ্রীলা প্রভুপাদ সেই সময় এই বড় মন্দির নির্মাণ করার ব্যাপারে বেশি একটা উদ্যোগী হননি তিনি বেশি উদ্বিগ্ন ছিলেন কি করে বেশি করে আরও গ্রন্থ And he told the temple managers, said whatever income you get, 50% should be used for books. And he said, don't keep money in the bank, keep books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And he liked to see the books being distributed. And then Prabhupada never compromised on the regulative principles, the four regulative principles. And he never compromised about the chanting of Hare Krishna. And he was also, he made the rule that only people who are serious in Krishna consciousness can come and stay in the temple. They have to follow the four principles. And he also said, our temples are a base for our army to go out and fight Maya. And then he said also he didn't want any lazy people to stay in the temple or no crazy people to stay in the temple. So, sometimes you get people like that, they just want to come and stay in the temple, they don't want to do any work. So that's not allowed, everybody has to have some service. So, this Prabhupada, and then he said also, no married people, husband and wife cannot stay together in the temple. People can be married, they want to be together, they have to live outside the temple. So, sometimes we, ha we have to make these different changes in different places according to the time and the circumstances. People, people even in the Ramanu Sampradaya, one of the Acharyas there, he's described that even people in very low families, lower than Sudra, lower than Sudra means maybe meat eater and like that, they, if they can all be initiated if they come to the, pr the principle, the proper standard. So people have to understand the purpose of these different rules and regulations. Okay, so are there any questions here today? Over and how to make distinction between over endeavoring and the proper level of endeavor, is it? Yeah. So, over so, sometimes we try for something which is very, very difficult to attain, to, you know, very, seems so way beyond our propense our capacity or our ability.
কখনো কখনো কোনো কাজ করতে গিয়ে দেখি যে আমরা সেটা করা খুব কঠিন এমনকি আমার সামর্থ্যের বাইরে if we have to give up if somebody somebody is endeavoring for something and they say oh, i have no time to chant hari krishna or i'm doing this so i cannot follow four principles then this is over endeavoring we cannot compromise on the principles of krishna consciousness তাই এই কৃষ্ণ ভাবনায় আমরা এই নীতির সঙ্গে আপোষ করতে পারি না কেউ মনে করে ও আমার এই কাজটা করতে গিয়ে আমার যথাযথভাবে জব করা সম্ভব নয় বা আমি এই কাজে এমন আছি যে আমার পক্ষে চারটে বিধি নিয়ম পালন করা সম্ভব নয় না আমরা এইভাবে করতে পারি দেয়ার ওয়াজ ওয়ান ডিভোটি হি ওয়াজ সুপারভাইজিং দ্য কনস্ট্রাকশন অফ আ নিউ টেম্পল এন্ড হি সেড আই এম টু বিজি টু চ্যান্ট মাই রাউন্ডস ব্রাপ সেড দেন ইট ইজ জাস্ট আ কোশ্চেন অফ টাইম বিফোর হি উইল গিভ আপ কৃষ্ণ কনশিয়াস তো একবার একজন যে মন্দির কনস্ট্রাকশনের কাজে নিয়োজিত আছে প্রভাতকে বলছেন যে আমার একদম জব করার মতো সময় নাই প্রভাত বলছে না এটা হচ্ছে তোমার এই কৃষ্ণ ভাবনা ত্যাগ করা ঠিক পূর্ব মুহূর্তের কথা নয় সো ইফ ইউর এনডেভার রিকোয়ার্স ইফ ইউর থিঙ্কিং এনডেভার ইফ ইট কজ ইস ইউ টু স্ল্যাক এন্ড অর টু গিভ আপ হিয়ারিং এন্ড চ্যান্টিং দেন ইটস ওভার এনডেভার তো যদি কোনো কাজ করতে গিয়ে দেখা যায় যে আমাকে এই শ্রবণ কীর্তন এটা বাদ দিতে হচ্ছে তাহলে সেটাকে বলা যাবে যে ওই অতিরিক্ত প্রয়াস বা যে চেষ্টা করা উচিত তার থেকে অতিরিক্ত বাড়াবাড়ি করা হচ্ছে সেটা হচ্ছে Well, your parents are not satisfied, you're satisfied, but your parents are not satisfied. You have to consider, are your parents devotees or not? If they're not devotees, then of course it will be hard to satisfy them. So, I don't know if you are not satisfied, but your father is not satisfied. But first of all, I think that your father is not satisfied. If you don't have a father, then you will be satisfied. But if they see that you are happy and that you are working nicely with them, you are having good qualities, what, find, what fault? They should not find any fault with you as a, in your behavior. Your behavior should be without any fault. You keep clean and you work hard and you're always in good mood. You don't make a, a lot of, you don't make sure of passion and anger. You talk nicely to them. Why, they, why they're not satisfied? আর কেন তারা সন্তুষ্ট হবে না কেন তুমি খুব সুন্দর পরিষ্কার পরিচ্ছন্ন থাকছো কঠোর পরিশ্রম করছো সব সময় তাদের সঙ্গে খুব ভালো আচার আচরণ করছো যার ফলে তাদের তো আর অসন্তুষ্ট হওয়ার কোনো কারণ নেই সো ইট টেক সাম টাইম ফর দেম টু সি বাট দে শুড সি দ্যাট ইউ আর আ বেটার পার্সন বাই বিং আ ডিভোটি অ্যান্ড দে শুড কাম টু অ্যাপ্রিসিয়েট ইউর চেঞ্জ ইন ক্যারেক্টার ইন হাউ ইউ ক্যান প্রুভ তো এই জন্য ধৈর্য ধরে কিছু অপেক্ষা করতে হবে তারা যখন দেখবে যে তোমার আচার আচরণ এরকম খুব সুন্দর ভক্ত হয়ে এসছো তারাও স্বাভাবিকভাবেই আত্মীয় এবং তারা বিষয়টা বুঝতে পারে এবং তারা উন্নত হবে If we think, if we, if we just become satisfied with whatever is given by the will of providence, then we will become lazy and we'll just be in the comfort zone too much. No, we, we, we should be using the time for Krishna consciousness, to do service for Krishna. That's important. The, the will of providence is not in relation to Krishna. Our material needs are provided by the will of providence. But for the service of Krishna, we have to be very active. We can't just be comfort in the comfort zone. You have to get off your... You have to get up and be active. 
Prabhupada said Krishna consciousness is based on practical activity for the pleasure of Krishna. Our, our needs, that's depending on the will of providence, but Krishna, we, it's our duty to do service for Krishna. Okay. If in a family, if there's, if there's calling each other of bad names and criticism and even violence, is it considered an offence? Yes, you're being offensive to each other, you're offensive to devotees, you're setting a very bad standard of behaviour. You're showing a very bad standard of behaviour to others. <laughs> You're not, you're not helping anyone by your behavior, by your bad words and by your violence. It's not doing good for anyone. It's simply creating a nasty situation, uncomfortable, unpleasant situation, very bad behavior for the children and it shows a very bad example to others. The neighbors hear, will hear the noise, they will understand what's happening. It's very bad. You should be very regretful to fall into such a mode of passion and ignorance. This is the beginning of demonic life when you behave like that. This is not devotee behavior. You want to read books other than Srila Prabhupada's? First, you must have read all of Prabhupada's books carefully. Then you may, you may be qualified to read others, but you should be very cautious. <laughs> We, how can we prepare ourselves for the, when we lament the loss of a relative, it's someone in the family? We, we do this by kirtan, the chanting of the holy names and also by hearing from the Bhagavad Gita about the departure of the soul from the body, particularly the difference between the body and the soul in the second chapter Bhagavad Gita. People have to speak to you about the difference between the body and soul. We have to understand the eternal nature of the soul. Uh, okay.
Well, I think we'll take up that question tomorrow. It's quite a detailed question and it will be covered when we go on to the next verse also. So I'll, I'll remember this question and we will answer it tomorrow. Thank you very Hare much. Krishna, thank you. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Ki. Gaur Premanandi. Hare Hare.